Hello, boys and girls. All right, so today is Turtle Tuesday. Happy Turtle Tuesday. I'm gonna go over to the calendar now. Let's take a look and see what number we're going to be putting our color onto. This is the next number that has to get a color. That's the number nine. And the number nine is all of your fingers except for one. So we have our 10 fingers here, take one away, and that makes nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, what color we need to put on the number nine? What do you think? We have red, purple, purple, red, purple, purple, red, purple, purple, and then tomorrow will be red. All right, let's listen to that sentence. Here we go. Today is Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. All right, so it looks like we only have one, two, three, four, five. Five more days until Valentine's Day. How exciting. I hope that you are getting ready for Valentine's Day. In fact, on my slides today, I have a little story about a little mouse who is going to be getting ready for Valentine's Day. So make sure that you read this story. It is called Happy Valentine's Day Mouse. And so after you read that story and hear about the different ways that that mouse makes Valentine cards, you, maybe you can make your very own Valentine card. So I actually have some papers here to show you. First, I'm gonna bring you over here of ways that you can make some Valentine cards. So you'll definitely need some paper. So as long as you have construction paper at home, you can make your very own heart or any type of Valentine card that you choose. I have pinks and reds because they are the colors that remind me of Valentine's Day. And as you can see, I cut some hearts out on the paper. I also made a little paper mouse. You can make any kind of Valentine that you want. All you need to do is get some scissors and cut out the hearts and cut out any shapes or designs you want. And then in your bag, I gave you an envelope. All right, so you can take your Valentine of whatever you chose to make, put it into the envelope. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to just bend his little nose just a little bit so he fits, which is fine. And then you can write the name of whoever it is you wanna give it to on the front of your envelope. And then you can put it in the mailbox. I know at school we have a little tiny mailbox that you can put it in, or you can put it in the real mailbox and put a stamp on it, okay? So that's a fun thing to do, especially after you read that story to learn some ideas on how, what kind of Valentines you can make. Now, another slide looks like this. This here is a little Valentine hedgehog. Um, it's very, very, very tiny pieces that you're gonna be using for this Valentine hedgehog, all right? So this is the hedgehog you're gonna use. I know it's very, very tiny, but I think it's really, really good for your little fingers to put those little tiny, tiny um, confetti hearts onto the hedgehog. So what you're gonna do is use some glue and you're gonna put glue all over the hedgehog, okay? So of course you're gonna open it up put lots and lots of glue all over it. And then piece by piece, you'll lay your confetti hearts down onto your hedgehog to make it look like little spikes. So if you can see up here, I didn't have these materials, but that's what your, your uh, hedgehog can look like a little bit. See how those hearts look kind of like his spikes? So that's what you can make with your hearts, your confetti hearts. They're just a little different than the ones that uh, you see in that top right picture. Okay, and then we're gonna make some patterns. So you're gonna have a, a piece of, or a bag that looks like this, and inside you'll have a pipe cleaner and some beads. My morning friends can make a pattern with maybe two colors, and maybe my afternoon friends can make a pattern with the same two colors, but instead of just doing one of the same color, you can do two or even three of the same color, whatever type of pattern you wanna do. If you see here, we used two colors, but we used two reds, two pinks, two reds, two pinks, two reds, two pinks, two reds, two pinks. And you're gonna use those little tiny fingers to put on the next set. So what comes after that? We've got two pinks, two reds, and then come, yes, two pinks. 
So I need two pinks, not just one. And so we'll use our pincher fingers. Again, a great fine motor activity to put on those next two colors. When you're all done, we're gonna try to form this into a heart. So remember, first you make a V. I'm gonna try to do it down here because it's kind of hard to do it while holding it upright for you. So first you make a V, that's the place to start. See the V? One hump on one side and then on the other. This is the heart that shows the love we have for each other. And so you can make your very own patterned beaded heart. All right, so have fun doing that at home. Let's see what else we've got going on up here. Let's bring you up. All right, so, oh, okay. So now here we have a slide that has numbers on it. The numbers one through six are for my morning friends and the numbers one through 10 are for my afternoon friends. Now, in your bags that look like this, you're gonna have a lot of materials, but you're only gonna take out these tiny little candy hearts, okay? And you're gonna open them up and we're gonna use them to match numerals with their quantities. So, I will show you what I mean. Here's my paper here. I'm gonna open up the hearts and you're going to match the numerals with the quantity. So, for the number one, I would just put one heart. It's kind of hard to see the white ones, okay? For the number two, I would put two hearts. For the number three, I would need how many hearts? That's right, one, two, and three. And so you may not have enough, you won't have enough to go through all the numbers, but you can erase it and then do another one. So if here's my afternoon classes numbers for the number eight, I wonder if eight will fit on there. That's a tiny eight, but let's see if it'll work. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh dear, it's getting tight, but it's gonna work. Oh, open this bag here, seven and eight. Oh, it's super squishy, but I got all eight hearts to fit on the number eight. All right, so do that at home. That's a fun matching numerals with their quantities activity. All right, let's see what's next here. All right, so I have a worksheet, two worksheets, one for my afternoon friends, this one here with the lines a little closer together, and one for my morning friends with the lines a little bit, um, a little bit easier to cut. All right, so I'm gonna show you. So what you're gonna do is you're not only going to cut, but first you're gonna trace them, okay? So let's bring you down here so you can see. So when you trace, you're gonna use your marker or your crayon and you're going to go across from left to right, okay? So I'll just do the afternoon one for now. Down, up, 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 down, up. All right, so see how I traced it and I stayed on the lines? And when you're done doing all of the tracing, if you want to try to cut it, you can. The PM friends might have a hard time because it's really tiny. It's really, really put uh, closely together. So it might be kind of hard to do that, but you can try it if you want. So you'll need a pair of scissors and you can try to see if you can cut along the line. And remember, you need to use your helper hand and as you're turning it back and forth, back and forth. Your helper hand is the one that, that turns. This is a tough one, okay? If it's too hard, you can even just go straight across because it is kind of difficult to get in between there, okay? All right, so that's for that activity. That will be a lot of fun. Great practice with the scissors. All right, let's see what's next here. All right, so, oh, okay. So I'm gonna bring you over here now. This here is an activity with balloons. We have different gross motor activities that you can do with your balloon. And we also have a song. So I'm gonna actually do my song first. It's a really cute one. All right, so I'm gonna do some sign language here. Let's see if you can uh, follow along here if you want. If you wanna try to practice the signs. All right, so I like pink. It's the color of love. And my heart balloon above. There it is. There's my heart balloon. It makes me smile. 
and I find I can't stop until my heart balloon goes pop. Oh boy, and it may go pop if you're doing some gross motor activities, but that's okay. If it does, I have other balloons here where I'm sure you can, you may have another balloon at home. All right, so you could do things like this with your balloon. You can bounce it, okay? So you can bounce it up and down. Now this one has something called helium in it, so it's actually staying up. But at home, you have a balloon that looks like this, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna blow up your balloon. And take a good look at it. What shape does it look like? It does, it looks like my heart balloon, okay. And what's inside of my heart balloon? Some confetti hearts. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay, then maybe you can have a family member help you tie it. All right, and there we have it. Now this one does not have something called helium in it, so you can bounce this one because watch what happens when I let go of it. Ooh, it goes down. Whereas this one behind me, because of the helium, it stays up. So the one that goes down is the one we need for these gross motor activities. So like I said, we can bounce it. Let's try it now. All right, that bounce is real nice. And you can try to keep it up off the ground. Don't let it pop, try not to. You can blow it. You can even try to blow it and keep it up. You can put it between your legs and hop with it. All right, so I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna put it between my legs here and go hop, 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 hop. See if you can do that at home. You can get something and hit it so you can get a long stick of some sort. I'm gonna use my big line and I'm gonna bounce it so it stays up off the ground without falling and try not to let it pop. And you can even have a toss with it with your family members. You can throw it back and forth, okay? So that's a fun little activity there to do. And I think that might be it. Let me just double check. Oh, okay, here we go. Yep, I think that's so it. Whoops. All right, there's a dance song and we're gonna be actually doing this at our Google Meet tomorrow, okay? And what we'll do is we're gonna bounce it, bounce it, bounce it until Okay, we'll do that on Worm Wednesday. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.